is a 20-year retrospective of Colorado contemporary artist Emilio Lobato. Uh, he was born in San Pablo, a very, very small village in Colorado, and then he went uh, to school at Colorado College. So literally, he is coming back home. Well, we start with what I call an abstract or gestural expressionistic style very early on in his career, very raw, full of uh, kind of raw emotion, um, very much in the vein of the abstract expressionist stylistically. And then he goes into developing the technique of collage, which becomes kind of his uh, media uh, of choice uh, till today, very much influenced by Shenoweth, who was a professor of his at Colorado College. He develops the collage and becomes more mature. Then we go into Refined Abstraction, which I um, is a series we refer to uh, that show a lot of his Asian uh, aesthetics influence. Uh, we have um, a minimal series, a black circle series, and uh, we end up with a weaving series which is inspired by the weaving process, and many of his ancestors were actually weavers. So it's also uh, Emilio paying homage to uh, his uh, ancestry. Being the oldest son, the only son of an agricultural typical Hispanic family. Uh, my parents were very disappointed when I decided as a young adult not to uh, pursue the priesthood. <laughs> because that was your tradition, the traditional role. Uh, and go to, you know, get a college degree where I got a, a BA degree in um, art from Colorado College. It, it, it was a great place for me because it wasn't a huge uh, university. Uh, the, the size of the school was about uh, just a tiny bit larger than the combined five or six villages that make up, you know, uh, the San Luis and, and surrounding area. Um, I studied there with uh, Jane Cavell, who, was, uh, an, who is an expert in Asian aesthetics. Uh, the, uh, one of my mentors was Carl Reed, the sculptor. Uh, and then I took many classes, printmaking and, and painting from uh, Mary Chenoweth, uh, whose work has had a huge influence on, uh, on my work, uh, particularly her freedom with materials, uh, the, the, the sense of joy in, in creating. Uh, I think this, the stereotype of the angst-ridden artist suffering for his craft uh, is really overwrought and, and romantic. It was really by her example that I realized that uh, the creative process is, is fun. As a young student at CEC, whenever I felt um, homesick or overwhelmed, I'd come to the Fine Arts Center. Uh, they used to have a period room, uh, the Talpa Chapel, which was a recreation of a small family chapel in, in northern New Mexico. And uh, I would sit and I was very comfortable among these objects. It was very interesting looking back that I was totally comfortable with a uh, almost life-size uh, wooden um, Christ that was, uh, you know, typically used in a, in a ritual that uh, mimicked um, or recreated the crucifixion of Christ. I, was, I grew up around those types of objects, so I was very much at home. So the Fine Arts Center has a very special place in my heart. Um, and what a, a dream come true to, you know, 30 years later to, co to come, to be invited uh, to exhibit, you know, the, the fruits of my, of my life, uh, my labor, uh, and to have them hang in